Hello, welcome back my dear students. I'm very excited with you once again because today we are going to be in the most interesting part of our story. In our previous two classes, we have started with fair play and we have been continuing to see the judgments of the head punch and how important it is to stand for justice. Friendship is important, but above all, we know that we have to stand for the truth and today we are going to see another judgment, okay? As I'm going to repeat because some of you might have been missing our previous classes due to reasons that I do not know, but I'm just going to give a quick recap of what we have done in our previous two classes. We have done Fair Play Chapter 7, Part 1 and Part 2, and today it has come to the third part, that is Part 3. You will find this Part 3 in page number 88 till page number 19, okay? Part 3 occupies three pages, 88 till 90, okay? And this story, Fair Play, is retold by Brem, Brem Chant, okay? Why retold? Because he is not the real author. This is a story that had been passed on from generations and Prem Chan had retold it to us. Okay, He had written this story so that we will also be able to learn things and moral values from this story. In this part 3, we are going to have three main characters. That is Samju Sahu, okay? Juman Shaikh, Algu Chaudhary. As we know, Juman and Algu are two very good friends and today we are going to see a new character. In the first part, we have seen that Juman and his aunt had got into a trouble because he did not do his duties well. He did not carry his responsibilities well, right? And in the second part, we saw that there was a judgment where Al Gujodari, the friend of Juman, was to stand as the head punch or in our modern day context, you can take the role of the judge. A judge will always pass judgments according to what is right and what is wrong and not based on friendship, relationship or family status. And so we have seen that Algu stood as a judge in, the, in that case. And then he spoke in favor of the auntie, not only in favor, but also he spoke for what is right and he delivered justice to the auntie where the aunt was allowed to stay in a spread kitchen with the monthly allowances to be given by the nephew that is Juman Shaikh, okay? And after this, their friendship got into a problem. They were seldom seen. I told you what is seldom, right? Hardly. They were hardly seen together. In the earlier days, they were always together. They were respected so much. Even Jum Juman was a very, very good friend of Algu, but his love for money took over his friendship, right? He wanted to have his he wanted to have his aunt's wealth, and that was why he he went to Algu with the hope that Algu would stand for he, him. But Algu did not do. He was wise enough to pass the a wise judgment. But in part three, another judgment will come after some few years. Okay, after not some few years, after a few months. Okay, Algu went into a deep trouble. There was a huge problem in his life. And I want you to remember that we are dealing with a story in the village and not in cities and towns, okay? They lived in a village and so he, he had two bullocks, okay? Bullocks are the male cows. I'm sure you know what is a bullock and if you are a person who do not know, it's okay. I'm going to tell you that bullocks are the male cows, okay? And so he had two fine bullocks, that means very good, not, not the unhealthy ones. He had two bullocks which are very healthy and we know that bullocks work in pairs, right? But one died unfortunately and a bullock dying would be of great loss, especially to a farmer. Because in every work, we know that we work with bullocks, right? We have to, the bullocks will carry the cart or sometimes they will plow our fields and so on and here one of his bullocks died and so he decided to sell the other one maybe he did not have another bullock because they have to work in pairs what will he do with one bullock alone so he decided to sell his bullock where 
Samju Sahu. Okay. In short, I will also address him as Sahu. I want you to know that I'm referring to Samju Sahu when I say Sahu. Okay. He sold one of his bullocks to Samju Sahu, but here, even after he sold this, uh, he got into uh, trouble again. Why? Because Samju Sahu's bullock died. The one which he bought from Algu died, and then it was just within a month. Okay. The, when he sold the bullock, it was all very healthy, okay? It was in perfect state and there was no complaint or else why would Algu sell, right? He was a right thinking person. He always do what is right and he would not sell his bullock, his cow, knowingly, knowing that it is not healthy. But he knew that everything was so good and that he sold it. But Samju Sahu did not pay him back the money. When you sell something to your friend, when you are a shopkeeper, if you sell, you will always get money. But Samju Sahu did not pay him the money. And as Agu was a good man, maybe he was deciding to wait for him. After so many months, okay, after so many months, he did not get the money. And so he went to ask for the money from Sahu, okay, the one who bought his bullock. But this person was very angry, okay. And he said that, I will not give you any money for that dead bullock. A bullock which is already dead, why should I pay the money again? That's what he said. And this made him very angry and sad as well. He was expecting to get the money. Remember, one of his bullocks died already. So he need to get some money so that he can continue to do his work with some other means. But this person said he did not want to give him the money, say, saying that he will never pay for that. And he also accused him, okay? Accused means saying the wrong thing against him, saying that he had sold the bullock to him knowing that it was ill. And honestly, he did not know any such thing or if he knew he would not do this, okay? And then they were trying to solve the matter between themselves, okay? They were just trying to solve things because Algu was a very good man, a very honest man. But the Sahu said, okay, you can use my bullock because he had a bullock. You can use my bullock for one month and give me back because within a month, his bullock died. So you just use my bullock if you want and then give me back after a month or else I am not giving you any money. This is what he said. So what does Algu do? Okay, he had to go and approach as as earlier, like the auntie did, he had to go and approach the village panchayat and then he went and shared his problem. Now, they were decided that they will have a case, okay? In villages, as I've told you, the cases will be dissolved, okay? The dispute, if there is any dispute, it will be dissolved by the panchayat. We remember the aunt's case was dissolved by the panchayat under the banyan tree and so the, both the parties that means Algu and also Sahu on all their parts they were talking to the villagers seeking for support because unless you have support in the right way it is also difficult even if you know that you are right if there is nobody to support you what happens it's difficult isn't it even if you know that you are right if there is no one to support you and the whole group supports the other person, it will prove that you are wrong. Even if you are right, people will assume that you are wrong and that was the reason why there is no one supporting you. And so both Sahu, uh, Samju and Algu went to find the support. They were talking to the villagers and the panchayat was held under the banyan tree. You also have seen in your SS books that earlier the banyan tree was used as the panchayat. Okay, they were gathered there. Even schools were held there because the banyan tree spreads over a large area and it gives shelter to the people. So they always use this. And we are dealing with a story that was not formed in the present day, but it was a story passed from generations and generations. And then now it has been retold by Prem Chand. He did not develop the story on his own, but it was a story that had been told by forefathers. And so it is very natural to have the pine jet under the banyan tree. Okay. So when they held 
the panchayat under the banyan tree, what we have to do is remember the aunt, the old lady, elected Algu as the head punch. And so now it's the turn for Sahu. It's time for Sahu to elect a head, a head punch who will speak for him. And when it's time for him, now he is, Algu is going to face a very difficult situation because this Sahu elected, okay? He elected Juman, okay? He elected Juman as the head punch. And this made his heart shrink. That means his heart went down. His hopes went down because Juman began to consider Sahu, uh, this Algu as his enemy, okay? Because earlier, he passed a judgment against him and after that, their friendship broke. And he was always expecting, hoping to take revenge on his friend. He had been planning continuously to take revenge from his friend Algu because it was because of him that he had to spend extra money for his aunt. That was what had happened to him. Now Algu thought that his friend was going to pass a judgment against him. Now he is losing all hopes. And you can understand this very well, right? When you have spoken against somebody, if they get an opportunity for every normal person, that person would like to take the same revenge on you. So he was expecting this. After Sahu pronounced this friend, Juman, as the head, as the head punch, our group began to get worried because he was not expecting a fair judgment on him. Okay, and when uh, when this head punch, who was the head punch? Juman, right? So when Juman stood up to give his judgment, he was so tensed. He wanted to know what his friend would say, his former friend. Okay, now they are no friends anymore. They have been, especially Juman considers Algo to be his enemy. So they were not in good terms. He's always looking for an opportunity to take revenge on his friend. And when he stood up, he said, the voice of the punch is the voice of God. Remember, in part two also that sentence was used, okay? And whatever I say, as the punch does not have a family, okay? As the God loves everyone equally. You have been studying about this. You have been learning from churches and also from schools about this, right? That God loves everyone equally. And so for the punch who is considered whose voice is considered to be the voice of God, says that he will have no friends, no enemy, and no relations. Sometimes, when you are given the class captain, if there is a person whom you don't like, and your teachers tell you to write the names of those students who are talking and disturbing the class, you might feel like writing the names of those students whom you don't like, right? And there are very high chances that we tend to think in this way. And also the same person, Juman was also in this position. He wanted to speak against his friend Algu, but after assuming the position of the judge, okay? After he was elected as the head punch of the panchayat, now he is beginning to realize that he had to stand for justice and he had to stand for what is truth. Because assuming the position of the head punch, he cannot just give his judgment. People will lose their respect on him and also people will not count on him. And in villages, when people respect you, it's, very, it's a very good position, right? It is not about the amount of money you have, but people will respect you because of the qualities that you have in you. If you are an honest and right thinking man, they will respect you. No matter how much amount of money you have, in any kind of society, it is your qualities that will determine you, right? And so he stood up and then he said, they, he heard, okay? He heard of what Sahu needs to say. And like I said, everyone, every party will be given the right to speak for themselves. And Sahu said that I bought a bullock from this man. It died within a week. Now he is asking for the money. So why should I pay the money for a dead bullock? That's what he said to the panchayat, okay? The panchayat listened to him. And after listening to both the parties, the people, like, like every village, the village elders and the leaders cross-examined. They listened and they were discussing about everything, 
right? They discussed about how the matter should be dissolved. And after a thorough discussion with all the group members, okay, after having a lot of discussions, they might be in a very difficult situation. And if we think Sahu also has the right in some ways, okay, because the Bullock is already dead, he would not be willing to pay the money. But if we go to the shop, we pay the money at the moment we get the product, right? He also should have this, done the same thing. He also should have done, but he did not, maybe he did not have money at that moment. And when the other fellow, that is Algu, went to ask the money, the bullock was already dead, so he did not want to pay. But after you buy something from the shop, it is not the responsibility of the shopkeeper anymore. It is your duty to take care of the product. And even if it's spoiled, you can think of a car, okay? You buy a car, and after buying, if you meet with an accident, you cannot go back to the shopkeeper or you cannot go back to the owner of the car who sold you and then you cannot ask for the money, right? It is your carelessness or it is your unfortunate thing that you face this accident. And so the villagers say that he had to pay the money to Algu, though his bullock is dead, because by the time the bullock was sold to this man, everything was in good condition. So that was the judgment. Sahu did not like the judgment for sure. But after Algu heard this judgment from his former friend, from his friend, he was so shocked, okay? Because he did not expect any such thing. And then he began to shout, okay? Victory to the Panchayat, okay? Victory to the Panchayat. The voice of the Panch is the voice of God. That is what he was repeating again. Because even though their friendship broke, their enmity was starting to grow, but they did, they, did not, they did not talk to each other, but this friend did not pronounce the judgment against him, though he wanted. And so this is how we got to see that the position of the judge or the head punch is very important. He should see beyond the problems that he have and he should always stand for what is right. And from this story, we learn that we should always be like these two fellows. Though they have differences, though they want to take revenge on one another, this Juman did not take any wrong decision. You will also be faced, I'm, I'm warning you and I'm advising you, you will also be faced with this type of problem in your life. But you have to be wise. Think beyond your own problems and stand for what is right and what is true then only you will, be a, you will be respected by people around you. You are still young, I know that. You are still young, but from your younger age, you should start practicing and you should start following what is right for you, what is right for the society. If you are selfish and think only for yourself, there will be a time, okay, when you have to suffer. But these two persons, though they have to stand against what they want, they stood for what is right, and at the end, they became good friends like before again, okay? The, with this, we are going to end our chapter on our class. I believe you have been following and you have learned a lot from this lesson. Not only the story, but also the moral lessons, the moral values that we need to practice in life. I'm telling you for the last time, always be honest in everything that we do. And the end of your story will always be a beautiful one like the story of fair play. Thank you so much for listening to me patiently.